Happy Monday. I'd like to talk today about something you'll never see in the Gazette. That's because I want to talk about national politics. And the Gazette is about local stuff. We're a community newspaper. We focus strictly on community news. All right, I admit it. I sometimes stray afar when it comes to my column, but most of the time we focus strictly on community news. And you won't hear us write about Donald. You won't hear us write about Hillary. But I have to say, I'm kind of thankful for Donald Trump. I know, I know. Don't get up and yell, just wait a second. See, Donald Trump has changed the game. And that game is journalism. I was talking about it yesterday. And you know, with Donald Trump, he has changed how we approach public people. What did I mean? I mean we can call somebody a liar now. Straight out, he lied. Used to be, we would say, he said so, such and such and such and such, and that's wrong. Lots of words there. Now he can say, he lied because that's what Donald Trump does. He lies. Actually, what they do is they nuance what their facts are. They leave things out, stuff like that. Mr. Trump, on the other hand, just flat out lies. Doesn't seem to matter a whole lot what we're talking about either. Whether that's his former career, his attitudes about women, what he said six months ago, what he said six weeks ago. He just creates his reality as he would like to see it. And nine times out of 10, that means he lies. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got a real problem with that, especially if we want somebody to lead our country. Just picture this, imagine that I am Oh, let's not say Putin. Let's say somebody else, anybody else, is going to come and talk to the President of the United States and wants to cut a deal. And he looks at Donald Trump and he says, I don't know if I can do any business with this guy. He lies. He makes up his own reality. That's a problem for me. I know, there's somebody out there who votes for Donald Trump. It's hard as I can, you know, I can't hardly stand that, but it's true. And as I said, I can understand how people think, well, other politicians lie too. But this guy has made it into an art. It's a problem. I think it's a problem. What do you think? Thanks.